So a truck covers 40 meters in 8.5 seconds while smoothly slowing down to a final speed of 2.8 meters per second. Find its original speed and its acceleration. So suppose that our truck is moving along a straight line where that straight line is our x-axis. So can I just put all of the kinematics equation here? So this is the kinematics equation. So the first one we have vxf is equal to vxi. So refer to your uh, to your slides uh, that provided uh, that I provided in the course site and I posted actually that in the in your course site. So xi plus vxit plus one half ax t squared then meron tayong uh, vx f squared is equal to vx i squared plus 2 a x plus x f minus x i then the four kin the fourth kinematics equation is the average of the velocity as vx f plus vxi divided by 2 okay so the first one so before actually solving the problem we have to take down all the uh, unknown at saka known uh, variable okay so before using any of the kinematics equation so before deciding on what kinematic equation will will you use for this particular pro problem okay so covers 40 meter so 40 meters so suppose our initial position is actually zero so meaning nag start yung car mo from zero so yeah and then yung this is our initial initial position is zero tsaka yung final position mo is 40 meters 40 meter and then that is a time tf is equal to 8.5 seconds so actually all of this kinematic equation so wala na akong giingon dito sa uh, sa slides actually so actually kanisha are uh, are the initial time all of them is equal to 0 Kaya wala kayong nakikita na initial time tsaka final time kasi yung T ang pasabot ani understandable na ito ay final time. Okay? The final uh, time. Yeah? And then here for a final speed final speed niya VXF is equal to 2.80 meter per second so we have to find the original speed muna okay so this is our unknown variables original speed so my initial position ka my final position my time t tsaka my final velocity so ano yung uh, best na pwede natin uh, i uh, pwede natin gamitin to actually use uh, to find the original speed the initial velocity so is it this one? So meron tayong VXF, meron tayong AX. So wala tayong AX, so we cannot use this one. Kasi may dalawang uh, unknown. So hindi pwede, hindi pwede yan. So about this one? XF meron, XI meron. So VXI is our unknown. Meron T. Wala din tayong AX. Yeah. So how can we do this one? So how about this one? So meron tayong uh, X. I meron tayong VX, VXI, pero wala tayong AX. So, meron tayong XF minus XI. So, uh, ang gagawin natin is, sa tignan mong letter B, so, we are actually also finding acceleration. Okay? So, before, uh, so, is it actually, so, XI, XI, so, X to AX, yeah, so I think uh, 
wala tayong ano dito so find its original speed so meron tayong xf xi so meron tayong vxi tsaka may x naman tayo dito okay so how about we used this equations okay so we have to use uh, suppose mo itong equation 1 tapos equation 2 we will use equation 1 and equation 2 so vxf is 2.80 meter per second is equal to how much is that yung vxi is uh, unknown so vxi the next plus unknown din yung acceleration mo at saka time mo is 8.5 seconds so this is our equation 1 how about our equation 2 so equation 2 is this one so we have xf as 40 meters i will just put 40 meters here yung xi is zero so vxi is unknown tapos 8.5 seconds yung time mo then plus one half unknown din yung ax tapos meron kang 8.5 squared so anong gagawin natin dito so the first thing you will do is uh, to find uh, equation that involves VXI okay so here we can actually use these two equation for uh, so equation for okay so we can actually use this one to get the uh, ax and vxi so first how about we will get ax here i mean here we can get ax here and then the value of ax is we have to put ax here from here okay from sa kaninga equation so ax is actually equal to 2.80 meters per second minus vxi divided by 8.5 seconds is equal to ax so ito yung ax mo so we have to put ax here para yung variable sa isa nating equation is vxi lang yung unknown okay so 40 meter so vxi is still vxi then 8.5 seconds plus one half tsaka yung ax mo using this equation so we have 2.8 meter per second minus vxi divided by 8.5 seconds then meron tayong 8.5 second square okay so finding vxi so how to find vxi so 40 meters then we have here again copy 8.5 seconds so how about this one so we can actually cancel 8.5 seconds here so what's left is a uh, one half times 2.80 meters per second minus vxi then we have here 8.5 seconds so isa na lang yung ma matitira sa, sa taas okay so what is your vxi so simplifying so that is 40 meters then we have here VXI 8.5 seconds so we have uh, 8 so simplifying 8.5 divided by 2 kasi yun yung nasa labas ng parentheses then uh, after getting 8.5 divided by 2 you have to distribute it to the, uh, the parentheses na 2.80 minus VXI so times 2.80 so that is 11.9 okay that is meter then what's left so meter naman to sya diba kay second makancel man ang seconds here so meter na lang ma-left here but your VXI what will happen is 4.25 so 4.25 vxi okay so uh, vxi vxi na yung natira so we have to 
uh, combine them. So, 8.5 minus 4.25. So, that is 4.25. So, we have 40. So, I will just put 11.9 sa peak, uh, other side of the equation. 11.9 is equal to 4.25 VXI. Okay? So, simplifying. 11.9 divided by 4. 4.25 so yung original speed mo is actually equal to 6.6 .6 meter per second so ito yung original speed mo okay so your b is actually we have to find the acceleration so using the equation na atong ginakuha before using this expression we can find directly ax kasi yung vxi is na kuha na natin 6.6 .6. so we have ax is equal to 2.80 so 2.80 so we have here 2.80 meters per second minus the vxi which is 6.6 .6 meters per second then divided by the 8.5 seconds so 8 8.5 seconds so we have here 2.80 minus 6.6 .6 divided by 8.5 so that is negative approximately negative 0 0.45 meters per second squared so the negative means na yung object mo is nag slow down kasi uh, as you can see nag slow down siya to a final speed of 2.80 so meaning negative dapat yung acceleration mo okay so number 2 an object moving with a uniform acceleration has a velocity of 12 centimeters per second in the positive x direction when its coordinate is 3 centimeter. If its x coordinate 2 seconds later is negative 5 centimeter, what is its acceleration? So basically again, constant yung acceleration natin tsaka yung mo ang object is moving in the x axis. Okay, so you just have to uh, put all the known value so we have uh, ano yung pinakauna so we have here uh, as a velocity is 12 centimeter per second so we have 12 centimeter per second this is your velocity initial kasi ito yung first na sinabi niya na at x is equal to 3 cm so initial position niya again is 3 cm so for every initial ha yung time mo initial time is 0 kasi dun tayo mag start na mag time okay so here then we have if its x coordinate 2 seconds later is negative 5 cm so the final or the time or the final time is actually 2 seconds then, ang iyahad daw final position is, ano yun? Negative 2, ay uh, negative 5 cm. So, negative 5 cm. So, ano yung acceleration natin? This is the acceleration. Okay, so here, meron tayong Vxi, Xi, meron tayong T, at saka Xf. Pero, yung acceleration yung problema natin. So, so here, Vx sa uh, equation 1, meron tayong Vxf na hindi given sa problem. So dalawa yung uh, unknown natin. So we, can, we cannot use uh, equation 1. For this one, Xf, may Xf tayo, may Xi. So yung Vxi is meron din. Tapos Ax is meron. Ay wala kasi ito yung unknown. At meron tayong T. So we can actually use equation 2. Okay? So I will just put here Xf is equal to xi plus vxi t plus one half axt square okay so xf is actually a negative five centimeter so that is not an si unit but actually we can uh, we can kuana lang we can convert it to standard unit of length na meter in the uh, final na na answer okay so xf is negative 5 cm so xi is 3 centimeter 
Tapos yung VXI mo is 12 cm per second. Yung time mo is 2 seconds. Then 1 half. AX is unknown. Tapos yung T squared is actually 4. Okay, 4 seconds squared. So, negative 5. So, I will just put it kanitanan. So, we have negative 5 minus 3. Ito, 12 times 2 is 24. So, minus 24 is equal to 1 half. AX, I mean 4 divided by 2. So, that is actually 2 na. So, I will just put it 2. So, what is your AX, man? So, AX is basically equal to how much? So, that is... 32 divided by 2 so that is equal to 16 so 16 centimeter per second squared yung ano natin yung uh, yung value natin acceleration so negative meaning yung acceleration mo uh, meaning that yung body mo is moving in the negative x direction okay so negative 5 centimeter so, this means that in meters, so anong gagawin natin in meters? So, we just have to multiply this one by, uh, we have 100 centimeter, is equal to 1 meter. So, ano to in meters? So, we have here, that is negative 0 0.16 a meter per second squared. So, ito yung ano niya. Ito yung Okay, so next is we have to uh, get problem number 3. So, a speedboat moving at 30 meters per second approaches a no wake view uh, marker Bowie, so Bowie marker 100 meter ahead. So the pilot slows the boat with a constant acceleration of negative 3.5 meters per second squared by reducing the throttle. Okay, so how long does it take the boat to reach the view? And what is he? What is the velocity of the boat when it reaches the buoy? Okay, Bowie, Bowie. Okay, so a speedboat moving at 30 meters per second. So, we have to put all the values, the known values here. So, ano yung, ano niya? Ano yung speed niya? So, speed niya, uh, yung speed niya is 30 meters per second. At saka yung distance niya is 100 meter ahead. Okay, so 30 meters per second, yung speed. Tsaka yung final position niya is... Uh, 100 meters so therefore we will let the xi to be zero okay kasi hindi niya explicitly sined uh, dito na merong initial position so we just have to let that equal to zero then the constant acceleration is 3.5 acceleration is actually negative 3.5 meters per second squared so how can we do this one? So we so the the uh, the unknown is time. So ito yung kukunin natin. So time. So yeah, balik tayo sa four equations of motion. So time yung gusto natin. So meron tayong vx. Uh, wala tayong vxf. Pero meron tayong vxi. Ito yung AX. So, ang time yung wala. So, may dalawang unknown. So, we cannot use this one. How about this one? So, my XF, my XI, then VXI. Wala. Meron tayong VXI. Tapos, yung T is are actually, uh, ito yung kukunin natin. So, meron tayong X. So, we can use actually uh, equation number 2. Okay. So, equation number 2. So, we have XF, XI, plus vxi t plus one half ax t squared so xf is actually 100 meters xi is zero 
then yung VXI mo is 30 meters per second and T is unknown nya 1 half then we have negative 3.5 meters per second squared tapos yung T squared is unknown okay unknown din siya so how to do this one so simplifying so we can actually simplify this one so nasan yung gamit so simplifying so 3.5 divided by 2 is 1.75 but we can actually put that on the other side of the equation so that is 1.75 t squared tapos ito i put other side of the equation becomes negative 30 meters per second t tapos plus 100 meters is equal to 0 so we can actually find the value of t using quadratic equation diba so t is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a so ito yung b natin ito yung a ito yung coefficient ng c so negative b so ang b natin is negative 30 so we have negative of the negative 30 Okay, so B squared is negative 30 squared. Then yung A is 1.75. 1.75. Tapos yung C natin is 100 meters. Then divided by 2 times 1.75. So, simplifying. So, ano yung makukuha natin? So, negative times negative. So, it becomes positive. So, how about yung nandun sa square root? So, 30 squared minus 4 times 1.75 times 100. Okay. 200. So, that is square root of 200. Answer is 14.14. So, 14.14 divided by 2 times 1.75. So, meron tayong 3.5. So, this is in seconds. So, we have here, we have two values of T. So, T1 is if we have 30 plus 14.14 divided by 3.5. So, how much is that? So, that is... That is 12.6 seconds. Then how about your T2? So your T2 is just equal to 30 minus 14.14 divided by 3.5. So how much is that? So that is approximately 4.53 seconds. So how will we decide if which is the correct uh, time? Because we cannot have uh, two time uh, two times here if your value is uh, if your object is moving only and if you are only specific specifying only one object and nag move so actually the physical uh, physically correct yung smallest time kasi because uh, ito yung physical na uh, correct kasi as you can see my initial velocity siya na 30 meters per second so, mapupunta niya yung marker na 100 meter in the acceleration of negative 3.5, mapupunta niya in just 4.53 seconds. So, ano pala yung 12.6 seconds? So, remember, yung boat or speedboat is actually slowing down to negative 3.5 meters per second squared. So, meaning at the point na, na nakapunta na siya sa 100 meter, at the end na magsta-stop na yung speedboat, what will happen is, uh, pwede siyang bumalik okay so after pagbalik niya dun sa 100 meter mark the uh, yung time na makuha niya interval for the total time interval or total trip niya is 12 seconds so ito yung pabalik na dun sa uh, 100 meter okay so parang ganito ba so na ako yung speedboat okay so I, draw, I will draw a speedboat okay so ito yung 100 meter mark niya 100 meter so, papunta siya doon, it will take 4.53 seconds. So, not totally kasi na masta stop siya sa 100 meters. So, pwede ding, um, ano siya, ma, uh, pwede din siyang ma, 
makapunta dito like malapas siya okay so af after sa 100 meter now to get back to 100 meters so makapas na naman siya again sa 100 meter mark in 12.6 seconds for the total trip okay so yun lang so yun lang yung ang uh, explanation kaya may 12.6 at saka 4.53 seconds okay so yun lang yung uh, example sa mga uh, motion along x-axis